5 Tuesday and we're on cereals this time. A tricky one. Uh, I need to think of five cereals. Well, actually, you know, I can think of five cereals. I can do pretty well there. Um, I've kind of fallen out with cereals a little bit. Simply because it turns out one portion of cereal is barely anything and is not enough, really, for a full, complete breakfast. A little bit disappointing. Um... And the thing is, if you have more than one portion of cereal, well, you're looking at calorie central, so it's a little bit tricky when you want to lose the pounds, or the uh, kilograms, as it were. But anyway, uh, I also think that maybe breakfast is uh, not as important as Kellogg's would have you believe, but there you go. So, number five, I'm going to go with, <coughs> probably, Wheatos? Yeah, I'm a fan of Wheatos. They're good. They're not amazing, but they're good. Um, I like to have them with what I'll probably put as my number four, actually. Um, but, yeah, Wheatos, they're um, a chocolate hoop. You'll notice that's a pattern in my breakfast choices. And they are, you know, quite substantial. You can actually get a quite nice big bowl of them. So um, they're, they're a good choice if you want if you want a full-filling breakfast. Uh and of course they're chocolate, and you get chocolate milk when you finish with them, so that's always a bonus. Um, I do like to put them with number four, which is, um, I've actually got some over there, but I can't be bothered to get them. Multigrain Dino Shapes from Aldi. They are, uh, and they're not great on their own, um, as is the case with the Kellogg's um, Rice Krispy Multigrain things. Yeah, not not great on their own. What you do is you get another cereal that might be a bit more calorific, say a Wheato or some of the other cereals that I've got lined up, and um, you mix them together. So you've got this nice dino um, on top, and then the chocolate cereal or the the sugary cereal, perhaps, isn't as overwhelming, um, and you get an, a much more satisfying bowl of cereal out of it. So that's what I would recommend, and that's why the multigrain dino shape gets number four because it's it can go with anything. It can go with anything. It's not up to much on its own, but with stuff, it's a winner. It's a winner in my book. So number three, we're going to go with crunchy nut. No, we're not. We're going to go with Aldi's chocolate clusters because they are better than Crunchy Nut chocolate clusters. Um, very, very heavy, um, which is why they're only number three. But for years, this was my go-to cereal because it has everything. It's got a little bit of chocolate, um, a nice amount of chocolate. It's got the sort of sweetness of the honey uh, from the Crunchy Nut. It's got a lot of... Um, it's kind of like a granola almost. It's not It's not a granola because a granola is flipping expensive. But um, it's got a granola feel to it. So it's got like oats and little bits of peanut and uh, and sort of cornflakey, clustery things. Uh, it's really, really nice. Um, one trouble is that it tends to go very um, dusty towards the end. And I'm not, I'm not keen on like the dusty bit at the end of a cereal. Not amazing. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, it's really good. A really good breakfast, you just don't get very much of it. When you're actually weighing it out, you, you get your bowl, and you might just have a little bowl. You put it in the bowl, and you're weighing it, and you get, like, that much. It's minuscule. It's quite shocking. Especially when I was having a full bowl of these things every day. I'm like, oh, jeepers creepers. Um, but anyway, nice. Um, number two is going to be Cocoa Rocks. I don't know if they're still being made. I had some last year. I found them in Sainsbury's. Or was it this year? At some point recently, I found them in Sainsbury's and I was cock a hoop because they are incredible. What it is, it's a mix of um, sort of Nesquik style crunchy spheres. Um, and then you've got these sort of more oblong sort of corn shapes i guess but inside they've got chocolate goo and there's not as many of those but it, it's it's just an incredible cereal it tastes so good and it's it's the nice mix of like the soft corn stuff and the crunchy the crunchy balls 
uh, great flavour, chocolatey, and then you get, of course, the chocolate milk at the end. Um, but, of, yeah, like I say, it goes down to second because I don't know if it's still manufactured. And um, it's quite expensive. And also it's made by Kellogg's, who are terrible. Haven't found an uh, alternative to those, although I believe Crave do. There is a, there is a Crave Coco Rock esque thing, which is also by Kellogg, so just bring that Coco Rock, man. And but while we're at it, Coco Pops cl- uh, Crunchers, they were really good. I loved them, and they stopped doing them. Madness. Uh, but number one. Number one is, of course, Donkey Kong cereal. No, no, no. It's uh, <laughs> Monflake Pixels. Did I discuss them on a show already? Why am I now feeling like I've done top five cereals before? I'll have to consult my diary. We're getting a repeat. Whatever. Let's see if my answers are different this time. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I have, but I want to say I've mentioned Monflake Pixels before. They are like if you got Cocoa Rocks, got rid of the, the crunchy balls and just had the gooey corn things, and they're also square. Absolutely astonishingly tasty. And... Uh, a relatively budget cereal. They're not cheap, but they are cheaper, and they come in a nice big box. And you can't help but have a massive bowl of them, even though you know it's going to not do you any flavours. Uh, don't know if it's especially nutritious, and it's probably not very good for you, but I don't care because it just tastes amazing. <laughs> and it's really satisfying. It, it It's the sort of cereal that makes you look forward to breakfast, you know? You get up and you're thinking, oh, I can have a bowl of pixels. And of course they're called pixels, so how can I not mark it as number one? You know, they've got me. I'm a sucker, (sighs) alright? For once I've done a top ten that's not gone over time. Uh, And that's funny because it's top five. (coughs) Well, for once I've done a top five that's not gone over time. Uh, But yes, that's my top five cereals. I won't uh, wax lyrical any further because, you know, don't want to go into overtime. Uh, please let me know what your favourite cereals are and if there is one that has the holy grail of tasty, nutritious and you can actually have a decent bowl of them. Anyway, that's all from me. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.